All right, to start your flower, you're going to use some model magic. And to open the package, you just, let me show you from this side, you are just going to put your fingers together at one of the ends and just pull it apart. And it should open pretty easily. All right. So you are going to break off a piece for the middle of your flower. So I would say just a little bit of the end. So about like this, less than half. This is for the middle, like I said. These are This piece is gonna be for the petals. So you want more for the petals to go all the way around the flower. I'm gonna set that off to the side just on my plate so it doesn't get dirty. So for the middle, you are going to roll it in your hands. So you create a ball. And then you're going to smash it. So now that ball is turning into a disc. And you can flatten it in your hands a little bit. It's a pretty good circle. If it's not quite a circle, that's okay too. Not all um, center of flowers are a perfect circle. So there's my middle. You don't wanna smash it down on your plate either because Model Magic has glue in it. And if you really stick it down on your plate, it's gonna stick there. And when it dries, it's gonna be really hard, if not impossible, to tear it off without, um, or lift it off without tearing it. Okay, so for the petals, before you form anything, you're going to break apart the pieces. And you want them pretty close to the same size. Again, if it's not exactly the same size, it's okay. I'm gonna break apart 10 pieces. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, some are a little bit smaller and some are a little bit bigger but that's okay. And if you end up with nine pieces or 11 pieces, that's okay too, but you want around 10. So here's my center. It's a round disc that I flattened, remember? And then you tore pieces from the other part apart to create your petals. So you can make your petals a few different um, ways. This way right here, um, so there's the center of my flower. I have painted this too, it's just what we're going to be doing, but not today. These I made sort of like a triangle shape, kind of a um, stretch triangle, so I can show you that. Uh, you first just sort of flatten it. I just took a piece and I'm just starting to flatten it in my fingers and I'm kind of squeezing one end. And then that's the end that I smushed into the middle of the flower like that. You could do that. You could just make little circles that go all the way around like this. And you could even flatten them a little bit too if you wanted. Um, that might, you might run out of room to fit everything around there because that takes up a lot of space. So it's best if you probably, I'm gonna take that off. And I'm actually gonna flatten it. So it's more like an oval because I think that's gonna work best for our flower. So you do want to flatten it just a little bit. So this is the same sort of shape that I just made, only on this one, I kind of made the end pointy. This one, I'm just gonna leave it like an oval. And you really want to kind of smush it into that center because if it dries together, it will stick. But you just wanna make sure that it's touching a nice area of the circle, not just the very tip of your petal touching it. You wanna kinda of smush it in there. All right, so another one, and maybe I'll do them all that sort of oval shape here, just so it's a little bit different than the other one. So here's another one. I just picked it up and I'm smushing it. Model Magic is really nice because it just kind of stays in the shape that you form it. 
into. And smush it together there. Another piece. Just squeezing. I'm not even rolling it. I'm just sort of squeezing it in between my fingers. There's an oval piece. Again, sticking it there. This one's a little bit smaller, but again, it's okay. Some flowers, their petals aren't perfectly equal. Some might be bigger, some might be smaller. This one is a little bit flatter than this one, so it's okay. As long as they're stuck together pretty good, that's the most important part. Okay, this one is a little bit bigger. And some of you might think if it's like a really weird shape that you tore it off, and a lot of these were, you might want to just start by kind of making it into a ball and then squeezing it and flattening it out. But this is just a really fun project where, again, we're making, I'm gonna squeeze this one before I flatten it again. We're making flowers, so it can be any, there's so many different shape flowers, petals, um, different shapes and sizes. So as long as they're stuck to the middle, it's okay. This is a real big one. Smashing it. This one, I'm actually gonna take some off of this one because this one is a lot bigger than the others. All right, and I am just gonna end up with enough. You can see this one. I did end up spacing some of the other petals apart because I was running out of room. So you can see these are close together here and then I spaced them apart here. So if you need to do that, that's fine. And then the last one, roll it up into a little ball. Not even that great of a ball, but that's all it really needs. And then smush it in your fingers to make that oval shape. I'm just gonna stick it right in there to fill in the space. And then before I add any texture to it, ooh, this one is really little. I'm gonna take that one off and add this to it actually. Because it was a lot smaller and it's not really a problem, but since I had that extra piece, I'm gonna use it. Flattening it. Stick it right back in there. Okay, you are all gonna get a toothpick as well to make a little bit more details and make some texture on your flower. But before you do that, you need to lift it up off of your paper plate. Like I said before, you don't want it to stick or get smashed down. You want it just to lay on top. So you're gonna pick it up one more time. I'm gonna make sure that my petals are sort of smushed in there. I'm gonna be gentle about it because like I said, uh, wherever you pull it or um, smush it, it, just, it stays that way. So you wanna be really gentle because whatever, however you pinch it or um, touch it, it's gonna, that's how it's gonna be. Okay, so I'm gonna lightly lay it back down. And if you wanna do something like I did here, you're just gonna take the toothpick and make a bunch, and I'll hold it up so you can see it better, a bunch of little dots. Like the center of the flower, sometimes where the pollen is, it looks like there's this kind of like dotted texture to the middle. That's just an option, you don't have to do that. But then what I also did is I took the toothpick and I just sort of made an indention on the petals to make it look a little more realistic, a little more three-dimensional. And again, you don't have to do that, but if you would like to, you could add different texture to it. Maybe you wanted to add another little line here, which almost kind of makes it look like a leaf, but 
your flower. You can make it look however you want. So you could do that all the way around if you would like, but just when you're done, you also need to lift it back up again because the very last step for these to dry, you just want to just gently lay it on top so it's not going to stick to anything while it dries. 